Good evening and welcome to our friends in the world of Canadian Rugby League as we join you live from Hull on Hull FC Live with our Director of Rugby, Sean McRae, to share a few thoughts on the exclusive partnership between Hull FC and the CRL. Sean, tell us a little bit about the partnership and what fruit it could bear for the Black and Whites. Well, I think it's a wonderful partnership, uh, being able to involve another country in uh, in, in rugby league and uh, Canada, there's there's no doubt, is a, is a, is a magnificent sporting country. They've got... Uh, a lot of uh, professional teams. Rugby league is taking off in Canada um, and we want to be on it at grassroots level and we've got a great opportunity to, to forge a link with uh, the Canadian Rugby League and we've done so and uh, we're very much um, very, very excited about the challenges that lie ahead and uh, we're looking forward to inviting some of the, uh, the Canadian players over for uh, training camp and, and, and being involved in our organisation. Rugby league is one of the fastest growing sports in Canada. Do we look at the, the athletes over there and are they likened to some of the players we have here in, in Super League and the elite competition? Well, I think that that's one of the things that, that uh, any, anyone looks at in recruitment. It's, uh, it's an ability, a judgment to play rugby league. It's not always someone that's come out of rugby league. It's sometimes it's just the, the athlete themselves. You know, you pick size, strength, speed, uh, skill acquisition. So, you know, if, if there's someone there that's played American football, someone who's played a bit of rugby union, perhaps even a baseball, a basketball, it doesn't really matter. Ice hockey was very big in, in Canada as well. So, you know, as I said, it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very enthusiastic, big sporting country. So there's got to be some untapped talent. Now, we know there's been an immense amount of interest in the placement with the black and white. Players even moving from rugby union to rugby league to try and be in with a chance of winning that coveted place over here in England. Sean, you're going to be taking one player on and possibly a couple more in the future as well. They're going to get the chance to come over here. Tell us a little bit about what they'll get to do. Well, Peter Gentle has, uh, has been uh, kind enough to, uh, to allow at least one player, it may be more, to come over and spend a little bit of time with us and uh, uh, learn a lot about the game, perhaps even get involved in some practice matches and, and uh, give us an opportunity to look at, at uh, at the athlete uh, himself, you know, and um, we're we're making sure that we line up somebody who is of a standard good enough to perhaps play in in maybe the twenties and have a look at them as a trialist. Uh, that's an outside possibility, but I guess we won't know that until we see the person actually in practice and, and working with our players. But that must be an exciting prospect for uh, you know for for at least one individual. As I said, it might be a couple. We've just got to. We've just got to get to the finer points there and, 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 uh, and get it down to a number that, that, that both suits the Canadian Rugby League and suits us. Brilliant stuff. For now, Sean, thank you very much. And back to the guys in Canada.